Hello everybody, this is Adrian with Ascension Soul Coaching. Yes, I am driving, but I got the phone attached to the dashboard. So, I want to talk about Miss Megan Markle. And I told you all a while back that she was going to be fighting with everybody. After she, after she won the case with the, uh, the letter and she told the courts that she forgot to tell them that she had actually contributed to the Finding Freedom book. I told y'all she's going to be fighting with everybody. It's not over. So now she's fighting with everybody. Every country hates her pretty much right now, right? Or at least a lot of people in every country hates her. But <clears throat> most importantly, what I want to talk about today is um, the, the, the article she wrote in the cut. Everybody's been talking about it. Um, it's it was horrible. I couldn't read the whole thing, man. I, I read like five minutes of it. I'm like, I can't read anymore. I skimmed through a lot of it. And I'm like, I, I can't. I cannot. I read it the same day that it came out. Um, <clears throat> you know, I told y'all also a few months, about a year ago, when Meghan and Harry was leaving and they were causing a lot of problems for the Queen, I said that um, their mission is to ruin the monarchy. Seriously. That is their mission. Um, I heard uh, uh, Bethany Frankel, she's been talking about um, Megan. And one of the things she just put out or someone uh, did a clip of it was her saying that when she first started talking about Meghan Markle and Harry when they left, that they weren't, they didn't know what they were doing or whatever. She said that, um, one, the people who, other, act, other celebrities who agreed with her secretly reached out to her and said they agreed. And then there was others who liked Megan who said, to take your uh, content down about her because um, they didn't want it up. And, and I'm and I'm I'm telling y'all, the, the thing about Mark, Megan is not that Megan is doing this because she's getting paid, y'all. She's getting paid, and she's being supported by the elites. There is a group of people who have an agenda, and she's also part of the, the One World organization. She begged to get in, be a part of, and then they got her in there, and then she did the speech. The other day. They said, "Oh, I don't know how I got here, but you, you know how you got there, you know." And it won't well, the, the traditional way, and they did not invite you. You beg for that, um, to be a part of that before you met Harry because you wanted to be on the world stage. But I also believe that there, that one world, uh, one world leader, world, yeah, one world leader, whatever it is, is also part of the WEF, the, the, the World Economic Forum, and is a, probably an arm of that particular organization. Because the, the, the WEF has the uh, young leaders, right, who, you know, like Justin Trudeau is part of, and uh, Pete Buttigieg from America, the uh, Secretary of Transportation, he's part of. Um, but I think this is part of like a little leg that's probably funded or offshoot of uh, the WEF that's funded by them. And Mer Megan's has found a way to get in touch with all those people, with, to be a part of that. She's saying she's one of the youth, but she knows she's not young, but okay. She was part of the youth and she wants to be a world leader. Um, and this is her avenue. So she's getting something out of this. What she's getting out of this is their support. And, you know, no matter how many times you go out and uh, boo her, no matter how many times we say she's narcissistic, which she is, in my opinion, and, are, and, and a manipulative and a liar, they're going to support her because they, they support certain people because they know they can get the distractions that they need and they can harm things uh, in situations with, like the market. They want to bring the market down, get this girl to come in there and do it. You know, her and Harry. Harry's, Harry's just going on with the program. He probably was sold a bill of sales that it was going to be a great thing for them, but he didn't, I don't think he truly believed it was going to really hurt his family. I think she knew, uh, but they've all got him signed on, lock and step with her. But there is a, a faction that is behind her that's supporting her. It's not just the sugars. Y'all call them the sugars because you, they like Megan, no matter what she says. I think those, some of those people are being paid and funded by these programs to always put out content to support her and to follow her and to give her credence. So the podcast, all that stuff is being funded by these people. Even the bots, if some people think this bots is giving her the ratings, which I don't think she's got the best ratings. I listened to the, I didn't listen to the first show of her podcast. Um, I listened to excerpts from, excerpts from other people talking about it. And um, it doesn't matter what she says, people. They're going to fund her because she's a good distraction. The news people who keep putting her in the news. Uh, if they really didn't think she was worth anything, uh, they would not keep reporting on her podcast or anything she does, but they're being 
um, they're being funded and they're receiving um, income because they, every time they put her on, they get paid, whether they like her or not. And I think some of them are, like the other day when she did the speech at the One World event, why was there like four or five different, at least, organizations streaming that crap? They don't stream any other charity because she was there, it's gonna get ratings, right? So it's a catch-22, whether you like her or not, don't like her you're gonna get money because you know news people gonna get money because it draws attention if you do like her you're getting paid by the you're gonna get attention as well and you're gonna get funded by and support by the west or whoever the elites are that support this girl okay so it's not just sunshine sacks there's a whole team of people behind her for a particular purpose and she does it because she gets the fame and she gets the money and she gets this to get her narcissistic spot which is pretty much all she really needs. But she wants to be president. At least she'll go into some type of political office and then she'll jump into like being a senator, trying to be senator, and then she'll try to be the president, right? Now, how does that happen? Well, you just need enough people to support you. It, the people with an agenda. And they got the money and the support behind her to get her where she wants to go. Now, if you remember back in, I don't know what year it was, but President Obama, there was a... a, a there was a media event, uh, like a uh, media journalistic uh, annual conference that they have. And there's comedy, and the, and the president's going to he does his little stand up. Every president has done this, right? I forget what it's called, though. So, so it has something to do with the journalists, right? Um, and Obama called out Trump and said, Trump will do anything to become president. I think that's pretty much You can go look it up on YouTube. He did that. It was. Uh, so he was joking, he was doing a couple of jokes, and Trump was in the audience, and they panned the job to Trump, and I'm like, wow, you know, because I've, I've known Paul Trump since the 80s, so I know Trump's always wanted to be, he's got, he's an ego, he has a huge ego, and he's a narcissist, and lies a lot, but he became president, no matter all the lies he told, he's a, you know, womanizer, whatever you want to call him, I mean, I'm like, there's no way this man would become president. And even when he was doing his, and I'm, I know some of y'all might like Trump. I'm just telling you what I saw, okay, and what I was thinking. And then when he became uh, the candidate, I mean, I looked at the, the, the debates and everything. I'm like, this guy's not going to make it because he, he he makes no sense. Well, let me tell you, you got enough people behind you putting enough money out there, you know, just targeting certain people to help or have fundraisers and to get people and delegates behind you. Um, not because you think the person is the best person for the office, but because you're getting kickbacks from it, right? Or you're getting support for it. For it. So why wouldn't you do it? That's how it is in politics, which is why I hate politics. Because they're all, most of them, I believe, are corrupt. But anyway, so he called out Trump. Trump became president. Trump called out Meghan Markle. So I'm going to see if this is going to be the, the trend. Is that the, maybe Trump didn't know, okay, or maybe even Obama didn't know that that's what was going to happen, but some advisor advised them to speak about these people. Because I was thinking at the time that Obama talked about Trump, why did he even bring Trump's name up? Like, yeah, he was in the audience, but Trump was not at that point outwardly expressing the need and the want to become president. It was only after that made, that announcement was made. So then you got Trump, when he went to go to the UK, they asked him about Meghan Markle. And I'm like, you know, a lot of those questions are pre-screened. I'm not saying all of them are pre-screened, but it's like, why her? I mean, she is such a little bitty thing in the whole scheme of things, supposedly, at that time, right? We were just mad that she left uh, England and gave up her, you know, wouldn't give up her title and wouldn't use it to make money. But it was like, hmm, why is he bringing up Meghan Markle? And now we know that she has aspirations to, become, to go into politics, so there you go. That's why. Once a president who has a bully pulpit, which means he has... Uh, open access to all kind of news media and it, wherever he says goes wide and far she says whatever you want to call it um, once you mention a person it's going to go worldwide that you mentioned this person and it was a joke both of them was a joke Obama was a joke about uh, Trump and Trump was a joke about uh, Meghan Markle saying Harry's going to need help because he didn't like her I didn't mention her twice I mean this is the, there was twice he's mentioned uh, Meghan Markle at least twice that I know of so it's like, you know, you pushing her up on this pedestal to give her exposure. So y'all got to be careful. So what is, I stopped doing a lot of videos about her because I'm like, I'm tired of her. I already know her game. I'm mean, already see it, right? Um, and I would hope that you all do too. But it's like, what do you do to break this? I mean, I'm not saying break her. That would be evil. But how do you 
what do you do to break how do we as, as citizens and world citizens break this so that she doesn't become this thing that they want her to become because not to say she's any more or less evil than anybody else but it's just the way she's harming people up front like the british more royal family the the queen for no reason you know what i'm saying it's the how she's doing it um and so openly that's the thing so openly um so what do we do we can keep calling her narcissistic we can keep calling her crazy we can keep calling her um you know she tr controls harry which she does okay um, she's in charge of that relationship what do we do to stop it because we didn't stop trump and i'm not saying we should stop trump because he didn't do a good job to do a bad job i'm not talking about that i mean just on the morality of the guy it was like not him but he became president so on the morality of of uh, Meghan Markle, how do we stop it? Because we can see if they have enough pull and enough money and enough backing, they're going to continue to beat us down and they're gonna get the delegates behind them. Whether it's the citizens or not, they're gonna get this, the delegates behind them to make the vote for that person. So what do we do, all right? I don't know, I'm gonna ask y'all that question. What do we do? Because she's in the eye of the, of the public. Uh, she's high profile now. She's going, and I told you all this a, lot, a while back, and I'm going to put those clips up of where I said this before. She's going to start fighting everybody, and she's going to be the bad guy girl, because she knows being a good girl is not going to get her where she wants. She has to do some ruthless stuff, right? She's She's got to put herself out there like a Kim Kardashian, but in a different way where she's more malicious, because it's more political for her. Kim Kardashian just, you know, expose. She just wanted to show her body off and use her body to make money, her beauty to make money. But Meghan Markle's not trying to use her beauty to make money so much as she's trying to use her status to make money, right? So anyway, y'all just leave your comments below. What do you think? How can we stop her? <laughs> what do you think we need to do? What do we need to do more of? Uh, what do we need to do less of? So leave your comments below. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.